Mr. Thawan, your first uh, comments on these details we are bringing on how these lawyers, it's been three days, no police action against them. They're actually congratulating each other. These are all lawyers, these comments that we've brought you. It's so disturbing. It's so shocking. And these men are free and able to boast because they're just not scared. You know, what I saw on the premises of Patiala House was anti-national. Gundaism, hooliganism, violence, people being beaten up is anti-national. Any assault on the system of justice is anti-national. You can criticize judges. You can do it in the newspapers. What you cannot do is have hooliganism on the premises of the court against lawyers, against journalists, against accused. This is simply unacceptable. Yes. So when Mr. Commissioner Basi talks of anti-national, he must realize that the immunity that he has given to all these people is anti-national. Mr. Dhawan, you... There can be no... Rip yeah, go ahead, complete your point. No, there can be no disruption in parliament, in the courts, and it simply cannot happen. You know, what I saw was incredible. Yeah. If the police were not there, we would have been beaten black and blue. The words used against us, Pakistan ke dalle, budgery being thrown against us, it is just simply not something that can be done in this country. Now, go ahead. I, I want you to, you know, it's chilling to hear you say that, that, that lawyers like yourselves could have been beaten black and blue, uh, being called pimps of Pakistan and so on. I want you to comment on the fact that after all this happened, Mr. Dhawan, we have just reported that this man who led the attack, this goon who calls himself a lawyer, he and his lawyer friends on Facebook and WhatsApp are congratulating each other. They are saying, Mere sher bhai, tod jawab do. They are saying what the government and military couldn't do, we have done. These men, Mr. Dhawan, are not scared. They are boasting about what they've done. Look, I have no difficulty in my mind that there is police collusion. As we went inside, we were told that somebody who was not allowed by the Supreme Court to enter the court, that person entered, that person went out. The Registrar General of the High Court said, please stop that man, please arrest him. There were eight to ten policemen there, they did not do so. If this is not collusion, I don't know what is. So now the police have a duty. But as long as they are protecting people politically, that duty will never be discharged. It is an absurdity for the BJP to say this is not our man. That is ridiculous. The point is whether he is your man or not, you have a police commissioner system here and the police commissioner has a duty to make sure that people who indulge in such hooliganism have to be brought to book. Mm. There is a layer of immunity that has been provided by politics and the police. Mr. Dhawan, these men are from your clan, they're lawyers. And they're not scared. They believe the police will not act against them. You talk about collusion. Are you suggesting that the collusion is not just... You're suggesting that it was not just that uh, Bassi's men were incompetent. You are suggesting they were actually asked to not act against these hooligans. Hell no. I mean, that they are incompetent is a different thing. I gave you an example of something that happened in the court, which could only have happened deliberately. Even the cordon around us was not just clumsiness. I was pushed. How did it happen? The point is that it is not a question of an inept police. I understand the problems of the police, but the police did not do anything when it was their job to do so.
May I ask you, you have submitted your police report, uh, uh, your own report, I beg your pardon, to the Supreme Court today. You have spoken about being called Pakistan ke dalle, pimps of Pakistan. You've spoken about the violence you came under. I believe that one of your team members even managed to film the proceedings inside. You caught all of this on camera. Have you handed that over to the Supreme Court? Yes, I gave an oral report yesterday. Mr. Rawal gave a written report with all the documents and the films. I asked the Supreme Court to release those documents today. Unfortunately, an additional solicitor general appointed by the BJP said, please see it, don't release it now. Now, it is quite clear the additional solicitor general claims to be acting for the police. He wants secrecy overnight. Mm. What he also wants is that report and that camera work and that pen drive not be made public. Mm. And of you course we were there, but the whole... Sorry. No, and and you... we saw things, you say that this is my... You know, these people don't belong to my profession. Yeah. And you are saying... I don't know what they do in their private lives. Yeah. It is disgusting. And, and, and you are saying, Mr. Dhawan, that you want what you've caught on camera to be placed in the public domain by the Supreme Court. I, I want our reports, what is on camera, what is on pen drive, the full text to come out in the public. I wanted it to be released today. Finally, the judges were persuaded by the additional solicitor general acting for the police to say, please read it overnight. Now, I have faith in the judges. I don't think there is any sensitive material there and it should be released forthwith. Yes, the, I... there is a report of the registrar general. Yes. The registrar general asked for an embargo on his report till tomorrow morning. We want everything placed in the public domain. Hmm. Mr. Dhawan, it's quite clear now that Patiala House may not be the best venue for this hearing. The Supreme Court will have to decide on that. They'll also have to decide on the matter of bail to, uh, to Kanhaya, whom his petitioners, uh, representatives have maintained is innocent. Do you believe this hearing can take place at Patiala House anymore, given what we've seen? Look, as Justice Chalameshwar said, a wrong message cannot go out. It cannot be that just because of hooligans, gundas, a court will stop functioning. Certainly there are security and safety concerns for the accused. But a message can't go out to hooligans that you can stop the functioning of a court. Our deepest concern, however, is that the security of Kanahiya Kumar is paramount. Because there was a threat in the morning's newspapers that he can be attacked even in jail. Yeah. Not that he can, but the point is this was the threat. Yeah. And if he is released on bail, proper security should be given to him. And I hope and I, that his whereabouts will not be disclosed by the police to hooligans. Uh, I want to ask you, these men whom you say are disgusting and not from your profession, from the same WhatsApp group, they are pr uh, planning their own march, their own protest. They're clearly not backing down. What do you expect the police to do with these men who call themselves lawyers? See, they may have LLBs, they may be entitled to their black coats. They are hooligans because of the way in which they behave. That is non-lawyer behavior. As far as their right to protest is concerned, they have the right to protest provided they do it peacefully. Yes. Just as anybody else who wants to protest on the roads with the permissions 
should not be attacked by these people. I defend the rights of the press. I defend the right of free speech. Yes. But this is not the way and this cannot be so. Let me ask you in the end, Mr. Dhawan, uh, you know, the word patriotism today is being, you know, these, these goons, they're actually doing all this in the name of nationalism and they are accusing people like us in the media of saying that, you know, you, you are all anti-national. Today, we've all been called anti-national. Patriotism seems to have become an excuse for the worst kind of gundagardi. In the first place, even the police commissioner doesn't understand the offense of sedition. Kanhaya Kumar should never, in fact, have been arrested. The tape that is going viral, senior journalists have read it and they have said that when he asked for Azadi, it was Azadi from hunger, from poverty and social injustice. Therefore, this is an innocent man arrested by conniving police who don't know the law along with the BJP and the ABVP. Therefore, this new version that we have of uh, this anti-patriotism is absurd. And what does the HRD what minister mean by talking of the mother of Mother India. Hmm. Mother India is all of us. Mother India is secularism. Mother India is every individual in this country. Mother India includes Kashmir. Mother India has a voice for everyone, including, in my view, a discussion as long as it is not violent on the future of Kashmir. I mean, this, this definition of Mother India as if somehow some f feminine entity called India was damaged and that somehow this nation must be intolerant and must be subject itself to a silence which is unprecedented and resulting in what has been called the process is the punishment. Yes. These people are apologists. They have no right to attack the press or any of us to call us anti-patriotic or anti-national. Strong words I'm from you. I'm flabbergasted. Yeah. It is a very disturbing, it's a very, very disturbing moment and to see these, these hooligans free after three days while the rest of us who are asking for action against them to be called anti-national I think sums up the situation we're in. Thank you, uh, Mr. Dhawan. It is a pleasure to have uh, those very strong words from Rajiv Dhawan, senior advocate, a member of the Supreme Court appointed team who says the team itself would have been beaten black and blue were it uh, not for the fact that they somehow managed to get out calling these lawyers uh, who, who are hooligans boasting about about, uh, their attacks on journalists and on the accused disgusting saying he doesn't recognize them uh, to be from his profession and more importantly Rajiv Dhawan accusing the police not just of incompetence but of collusion and saying that in the end it is the BJP and the Home Ministry must explain and the police commissioner Mr. Bassi cannot justify the fact that his FIR remains against unknown people a very serious charge saying that even the Supreme Court appointed committee was not was deliberately not given police protection because the police uh, is in collusion with the hooligans at the Patiala House Court.